Senator Harson a letter to the DEQ today, and his letter begins by stating that because of the importance of this issue, both to the people of Nebraska and as a matter of natural, national interest, I'm requesting that the Department of, the, of Environmental Quality do the following. Extend the comment period by at least 60 days. Secondly, solicit input from experts in the state of Nebraska on the subject of NDEQ's evaluation. And then third, conduct at least one more public hearing. And I believe that uh, tonight's uh, hearing is Exhibit A as to why all those things should happen. Uh, the following are the reasons that Senator Hart st stated. The importance of this issue. Last year there was a special session of the legislature specifically related to the authority of the state of Nebraska to, deter to determine the routing of oil pipelines. A special session began the process that is the basis for NDEQ's current evaluation. Thousands of Nebraskans attended hearings conducted by the U.S. State Department and the legislature, and thousands more wrote letters and sent comments as part of the process. It is also a matter of national and international importance. Since the President's decision to deny the original permit application earlier this year was based largely on the fact that the review of the route had not been conducted in the state of Nebraska, we need to make sure that Nebraska's review can withstand intense national scrutiny. So, secondly, the lack of consultation with local experts. Senator Haar states, I, su I surveyed four experts from the University of Nebraska who had participated in either the legislature's review related to issues uh, related to, to the previous pipeline uh, application, <laughs> the State Department's re review process, or both, and was surprised that none of them had been consulted about the current evaluation. I also contacted the Bureau of Sociological Research and received the same response. All of those surveyed indicated that they had expertise in areas with, that were re relevant to the evaluation of the environmental, economic, and social impacts of the proposed pipeline. All indicated that additional time would be needed if they were requested to research issues related to the pipeline. And he indicates that he will provide that information. Uh, third, the timing of the comment process in the public hearing had limited the, the ability of many people to review the, the report and participate meaningfully in the process. The report was issued right before the November election when many people, including himself, were preoccupied with political campaigns. The Thanksgiving holidays further reduced the amount of time that the Raskins have had to review an extensive and somewhat te technical document. Uh, he ends by saying, my request is intended to make sure the, department is, the, the department's review is able to meet the highest technical, scientific, and policy standards, regardless of whether one supports or opposes the pipeline or its current route, one thing that we sh should all agree upon is the need for the state to get this right. And then I want to uh, also read a little bit from, from my, my statement. A minute and a half. Uh, what's that? You have a minute and a half. Okay. Uh, uh, there, there's a couple things that I wanted to, to point out. And, and, uh, the department has a requirement to uh, evaluate the proposed, proposed route for its environmental, economic, and social impacts. Uh, it's my understanding, and I have not confirmed this, but that only two and a half pages of the report are uh, done regarding groundwater, and that the modeling process used is an elementary process based upon spills from underground storage tanks, not from uh, the oil and pipeline. Uh, and this is, uh, and, it, and th that this also does not do, uh, that there's also no modeling based upon the uh, site-specific analysis of the, the kinds of uh, uh, modeling that's needed to protect our, our interest in groundwater. And then I guess the other thing that I wanted to mention is that there's been the modeling, the evaluation of social impacts is totally inadequate. There's no consideration whatsoever of the social impacts of the pipeline on the residents of the area or the state of Nebraska at large. There's an incredibly divisive issue as displayed tonight, which has resulted in alienation of neighbors and communities it also can re result in feelings of powerlessness and hostility toward government due to a belief that the government has turned its back on its own citizens in favor of a foreign pipeline company. Thank you for, for, for allowing me to provide my